Hey everyone, my name is Laura and welcome to Book Bubbler. Today is going to be a very quick Friday reads because not much reading has happened. So um, let's get into it. Okay, Song of the Week this week right off the bat because it recently passed away. It's going to be I Would Do Anything for Love But I Won't Do That by Meatloaf. Um, I loved this video when it first came out. You guys remember like there was the short version and then there was the long version too. Same with the song. Mm -hmm. Good times. So enjoy some meatloaf this week. Um, so for books I have read, it's a whopping two. I know, I know. Also, all this stuff is from my big book sorting project. So you're going to see these in the back of my next couple of videos. I apologize. It's like a minefield walking around everything here. So yeah, I'm embracing the chaos. So the first one I finished is Atonement by Ian McEwan. I read this one for our Double Booked Co. book club for January. And um, I enjoyed this one. I did like it. I liked the writing. It's fairly floral and flowery. It reminds me of Henry James and Thomas Hardy in a lot of ways. It's very literary. Um, so I, I liked that part, but it made it sort of hard to keep track of things occasionally. And... Um, I enjoy the storyline to a certain extent, and this is probably just the sign of a really well-written novel. It made me so angry and so frustrated that it knocked down my enjoyment of the book by quite a bit because it's just maddening that police would be if, believe a 13-year-old girl, excuse me, over actual evidence, let alone anyone else is saying anything else, that they just believe this 13-year-old girl because she is upper class. I, I don't buy it. I don't know. Anyway, so read this, enjoyed it. We had a really good discussion, which is um, on our Double Book to Code channel, a nice live discussion, which is just mostly <laughs> Danny and I from Snorley Speaks, like semi yelling at each other because we're so frustrated. <laughs> Not at each other, but both like, oh my God, it was so frustrating. Like that kind of a thing. Um, so I liked this. I read Ian McEwan before. I will read him again. Um, I previously read On Chesil Beach and that was enjoyable. Not like I didn't love it, love it, but it was good. And then I have, oh man, it's another one word title I think I have here. It doesn't really matter clearly, but um, so I'll read him again in future. I won't be like champing at the bit to get to him again, but I did enjoy this. I really enjoyed the reading. I liked the discussions we had in our boxer group and I really appreciate sincerely everyone who DNF'd and bailed and that was most people <laughs> pretty early on. So I encourage and like, applaud everyone who quit and knew it wasn't for them right away. So glad to have this one done and off of my shelf finally after all these years. And the other one I read, I can't talk about because it's for the book two prize. So I read the shortest one. <laughs> this made me happy just because of its length, I have to tell you. So this is Notes on Grief by Chimamanda and Goze Adiche. Um, and it's about her, um, just like one just before her father passes away and just after and what grief is like, what it was like for her, what it was like for her family. I'm not going to rank it or talk about it, but that's just what it's about. So I did read this. I read it in one sitting. It's 67 pages. I was so nervous I was going to get all the long books, but I think this year, and I hope I am not wrong in saying this, that there aren't any 1,200 page books. <laughs> In nonfiction, I'm only reading nonfiction this year for Book Two Prize. So um, I've got this one knocked out, and it's a good feeling to already have one out of six off of my list, since I don't think I really read any new nonfiction last year. So that is it. <laughs> Four minutes, y'all. Um, otherwise, my life, I have just been incredibly busy. Work has been very busy, and um, still doing shower stuff for Danny's baby shower coming up, and trying to work on stuff for Double Booked Co. Not doing very well at that. Mostly just doing massage work and running errands for people, some for myself, and doing laundry. Like, my life is pretty boring. So, but it's it's fine. <laughs> it's all okay. I, I will take boring over exciting or disasters or whatever any day. I'll take boring. So, anyway, okay. I am off to do some more of the aforementioned laundry. And, um... Yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and reading something fabulous. Just fabulous, fabulous. And I will see you very shortly in the next one. Bye.